The moment my mom suggested the idea, I felt like I was trapped in a bad dream, one I couldn't wake up from. The idea of cross-dressing as a form of discipline was beyond anything I could comprehend. I'm Mason, and up until that point, my life was comfortably defined by the familiar. Hoodies, jeans, sneakers. Anything outside of that was foreign territory, a land I had no interest in exploring. As I reluctantly slipped into the dress, a symbol of my punishment, every fiber of my being rebelled against it. The fabric against my skin felt like a betrayal, an armor that was meant to protect, but instead made me feel exposed and vulnerable. I watched my mom as she approached with a makeup brush in hand, her actions well-intentioned, but to me, they felt like an invasion. I don't see how this is supposed to make anything better, I muttered under my breath, a mixture of anger and disbelief coloring my words. My mom's response was gentle, but it did little to soothe the turmoil inside me. With each application of makeup, I felt more disconnected from myself. The person in the mirror was a stranger, wearing a costume that didn't fit, playing a role that wasn't written for them. I was just waiting for the moment when I could scrub away the layers of foundation, eyeshadow, and lipstick, wash off the day's events, and retreat back into the safety of my hoodie and jeans. My mom, perhaps sensing my discomfort but misunderstanding its depth, called my sisters to see the transformation. Their reactions were mixed, but what stung was not their words, but the realization that this moment of vulnerability was on display, turning my discomfort into a spectacle. There was teasing, the kind siblings often engage in, but under the circumstances, it felt amplified, cutting deeper than the usual banter. Names were tossed around, each one a reminder that I was caught in a moment far removed from my control, a joke I wasn't in on. I could sense my mom thought this was a moment of bonding, a shared family experience, but for me, it was a tightrope walk over a chasm of embarrassment. That was a few weeks ago, but the landscape of my life has undergone a transformation as unexpected as the colors of a sunset, shifting and deepening in ways I could have never predicted. The experience, initially steeped in embarrassment and resistance, paradoxically became a gateway to a part of myself I had never explored. My mom, ever observant, noticed the subtle shifts in me. The makeup that once felt like a mask began to feel like a medium of self-expression. The dress that seemed like a costume became a canvas for my personality. She often teases me now with a lightheartedness that belies the depth of understanding between us, saying she would have never guessed that the punishment would lead to me embracing cross-dressing as a woman. Tomorrow, I turn 18. It's a big one, the kind of milestone that's supposed to feel significant. And for me, it really does, but maybe not for the reasons people might expect. After the conversation I had with my mom about starting hormones, she asked me to wait until I was 18. Fair enough, I thought. It gave me time to think, to really consider what I wanted for my future. My wig, once an accessory I relied on, has started to feel more like an old friend. But even old friends can't stick around forever, and I'm looking forward to not needing it someday. I've been letting my hair grow, imagining a day when I'll look in the mirror and see more of myself staring back without any additions. My mom's been cool about everything, when I first brought up hormones, she listened, really listened. She's been on board with my decisions, supporting me as I navigate this part of my life. It's not about the changes themselves, really, but the fact that she's there, backing me up. So what does tomorrow hold? It's not just about turning a year older or the possibilities that hormones might bring. It's about continuing on my path, figuring things out as I go, and knowing that I have the support I need to do that. The anticipation for the morning was unlike any other birthday. It wasn't the excitement of unwrapping presents or the joy of cake waiting to be eaten. It was the curiosity for what lay ahead on my journey, the next steps I'd take in becoming more myself. True to form, my mom was the first person I saw when I woke up, her smile as bright as the morning sun streaming through my window. Happy birthday, darling.
she greeted me, her voice carrying the warmth and love that had always been my guiding light. I've got some fun plans for us today. The promise in her words, the excitement in her tone, it was infectious, and I found myself grinning back at her, eager for whatever surprises she had in store. She led me downstairs, where the day's first surprise awaited. This is the first gift of many, she announced, presenting me with a package that was elegantly wrapped. The anticipation built as I peeled away the paper to reveal a pink wig. It was vibrant, full of life, and it sparkled in the morning light, a stark contrast to the blonde wig I had grown accustomed to, which was now showing signs of wear. I could tell the blonde wig you have on is losing its style, she explained. So I thought the pink would be the perfect pop to match your vibrant personality as well as your new breasts. Oh, um, wow, mom, I stammered, trying to process the flood of information. I mean, I appreciate it, but I didn't expect... She beamed at me, her eyes shining with excitement. I know it's a big decision, honey, but I just want you to feel confident and happy in your own skin. And I figured, what better time to do it than now? You're young, you're beautiful, and you deserve to feel amazing. I took a deep breath, feeling a mix of gratitude and overwhelming surprise. Thank you, Mom. I, I don't know what to say. As I looked through the catalog, each page displaying various sizes and shapes, I couldn't help but marvel at the extent of my mom's thoughtfulness. She had gone through so much trouble just to ensure that I felt comfortable and confident in my own body. Mom, I began, still slightly overwhelmed by the enormity of the situation. This means a lot to me, but are you sure about this? I mean, it's not a small decision. She reached out and gently squeezed my hand. I'm absolutely sure, sweetheart. I want you to feel happy and confident, and if this is something that will help you achieve that, then it's worth it to me. I felt a lump form in my throat as her words sank in. Here was my mother, ready to stand by me through one of the most personal and transformative experiences of my life. Feeling the weight of the decision, I looked at my mother with a mix of gratitude and uncertainty. I think I've found one, I said pointing to a size that seemed right to me. This one feels right. My mother smiled, her eyes brimming with pride. That's a wonderful choice, sweetheart. And remember, it's not just about the size, it's about what makes you feel comfortable and confident in your own skin. As we discussed the details further, my mother gently broached another topic that had been on her mind. Sweetheart, while we're on the subject, I also wanted to talk to you about hormone replacement therapy, or HRT. I listened intently as she explained the concept and its potential effects on the body. She told me about her visit to the doctor, where she had gathered information and resources to help me understand the process better. It's a big decision, she admitted, her expression thoughtful but I want you to know that I'm here to support you no matter what you decide. Whether you choose to pursue HRT or not, your happiness and well-being are what matter most to me. Well, with that out of the way, she continued, her eyes brightening with enthusiasm, are you ready for a fun saloon makeover? I smiled, feeling a surge of excitement. Absolutely. Let's head over to the saloon and get started. Together, we walked over to our cozy saloon, eager to embark on the transformation. As we entered the saloon, we were greeted by friendly faces and a warm atmosphere. The cozy interior of the saloon instantly put us at ease, and I felt excitement bubbling up inside me as I looked around at the inviting setup. A salon attendant approached us with a welcoming smile. Welcome, what can we do for you today? My mom glanced at me, her eyes twinkling with excitement. We're here for the full makeover experience, please. The attendant nodded enthusiastically. Of course, let's start with your hair. We have a range of styles to choose from. Follow me. We followed the attendant to the hairstyling area, where we were presented with a variety of hairstyle options. 
From sleek and sophisticated to fun and trendy, there was something for everyone. After some deliberation, my mom and I settled on matching hairstyles that reflected our personalities and preferences. The skilled hairstylists got to work, expertly transforming our locks into stunning new looks. Once our hair was styled to perfection, it was time for the makeup artist to work her magic. We were led to comfortable chairs in front of well-lit mirrors, where the makeup artist greeted us with a warm smile. Let's enhance your natural beauty, she said, as she began applying makeup with precision and skill. With each brush stroke, she brought out our best features, accentuating our eyes, cheeks, and lips. As she finished up, I couldn't help but marvel at the transformation. The hairstyling and makeup had elevated our appearance, boosting our confidence and leaving us feeling glamorous and ready for anything. Wow, my mom exclaimed, admiring her reflection in the mirror. We look fantastic. My mom chuckled softly, her eyes sparkling with mischief. I wish your sisters liked getting dolled up like this, she teased gently. But I guess it's a good thing I have you as my partner in crime. I grinned back at her, feeling a sense of pride in being her accomplice for the day. Well, I'm happy to be your partner in crime any time, Mom, I replied, a playful twinkle in my eye. As the salon attendants guided us to comfortable chairs, I couldn't contain my excitement for the next part of our makeover. Sitting down, I watched in fascination as they began to work their magic on our hands and feet. For me, it was a first-time experience, and the sensation of having my nails trimmed, filed, and painted was utterly delightful. The warm water of the foot bath relaxed my muscles, and the gentle massage that followed was pure bliss. Beside me, my mom sighed contentedly, clearly relishing the pampering just as much as I was. I glanced over and caught her eye, sharing a knowing smile. This was a moment we would both cherish, a shared experience that strengthened the bond between us. After the makeover was complete, my mom and I thanked the salon staff for their wonderful work, expressing our gratitude for the pampering experience. As we stepped out of the salon, my mom turned to me with a mischievous glint in her eye. I'm in need of some new clothes, are you? She asked, her voice filled with excitement. A grin spread across my face as I nodded eagerly. Absolutely, I'm always ready for some shopping. I replied, unable to contain my enthusiasm. With a shared sense of anticipation, we set off towards our favorite boutiques, ready to explore the latest styles and indulge in a bit of retail therapy. Arriving at our favorite boutiques, we wasted no time diving into racks of clothing, our eyes scanning for the perfect additions to our wardrobes. As we browsed through the selection, my mom suggested we start with shoes, her eyes twinkling with excitement at the prospect of finding the perfect pair of heels. We entered a chic shoe store, greeted by rows of towering heels in every style and color imaginable. My mom and I eagerly tried on pairs, admiring ourselves in the full-length mirrors as we strutted around the store. With each step, we felt a surge of confidence, knowing that the right pair of heels could elevate any outfit to new heights. After much deliberation, we both found the perfect pair, the sleek design and elegant silhouette making them instant favorites. With our purchases in hand, we moved on to the next item on our list, lingerie. Entering a luxurious lingerie boutique, we were greeted by rows of delicate lace and satin creations, each piece more enticing than the last. My mom and I spent time exploring the various styles and colors selecting pieces that made us feel beautiful and confident. As we tried on different sets, the soft fabrics against our skin made us feel glamorous and empowered. With each purchase, we celebrated the newfound sense of femininity and sensuality that lingered in the air. Finally, it was time to explore dresses, the pièce de résistance of any wardrobe. We ventured into a trendy boutique, our eyes drawn to racks of flowing fabrics and bold prints. My mom and I spent hours trying on dresses, twirling and posing in front of the mirrors as we imagined the occasions we could wear them to. From elegant evening gowns to playful sundresses, 
we found a variety of styles that suited our tastes and preferences. With each new dress, we felt a sense of excitement and anticipation, knowing that we had added something special to our collection. As we left the boutique, our arms laden with bags of new purchases, my mom and I exchanged satisfied smiles. Our shopping spree had been a success, filled with laughter, bonding, and a newfound appreciation for the power of fashion to uplift and inspire. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.